Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah rabbil alamin wassalatu wassalamu ala asyrafil anbiya wal mursalin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajmain. Alhamdulillah, we have discussed about the a practical application of CBT and pi CBT in terms of overcoming problems in terms of psychiatric disorder, psychological problems and medical problems coupled with psychological component. In, in terms of the problem that we face a lot of them are actually uh, it's, uh, it's a mixed balance uh, that means there are a lot of uh, drug based therapy there are also other alternative therapy there are also intervention to psychological uh, approach to CBT uh, MBCT, DBT and so many other uh, up and coming therapeutic methodology that, that is now quite widespread all over the world and we also have discussed about the 10 principles of CBT and how Pi CBT can actually write on on this 10 principle. We add one more principle or two more principles in terms of maybe, as the last one I've mentioned about the nature of consciousness. That in Islam we believe in the four levels of consciousness in terms of our spiritual, emotional, mental, and physical. That we exist not only in this world but also our consciousness exists beyond this world. So the therapeutic approach is more permanent in the sense that. And we have hope, hopeful of our life in this world and hopeful of our wonderful life beyond there. And that can be a very powerful motivator and tool for us to use to develop Pi CBT. And also the aspect of intention, uh, which is very important in Islam because everything in Islam begins with niyyah. Every amal that we do, we start with niyyah. So uh, it is also very important for us to incorporate this as one of the basic principles. What is our niyyah? And I will explain that uh, in, uh, when we develop the framework of our uh, methodology for Pi CBT. But today I'm just going to discuss about there are so many modalities now, it's quite confusing. We see in this uh, so called modern world we have so many modalities because, for example, for CBT alone there's about 20 to 30 offshoot of CBT, each claiming they have an improved version and so on, which is okay. I mean, it is very, this is the whole idea of research and development. Eh? So, like mindfulness is developed by uh, those in Oxford University and, and other universities and so on. So, MCBT, all right, or the other therapy like DBT by Marsha Lingman and her team at another university and so on. So, it is good. But if we are going to just discuss how are we going to fit in into this network of uh, methodology or therapeutic. Uh, methods that is being used in terms of psychological problems, then we would have to find some ways. Okay? So I have listed about 19 type of problems. Eh? So how Pi CBT uses all modality, including CBT, because this is in our book, Positive Islamic Psychology, a transcendent model to achieve peace, happiness and success. You want to know more of this, then you go back to our book. Eh? Remember, always purchase this book, either the soft copy online or the hard copy. Uh, inshallah, we're selling it for two, 30 US dollar, but not excluding, uh, ex that is excluding the, the courier charges or the mail charge because in certain areas that we send, for example, in Nigeria, the cost of sending this book is so expensive. Alright, so 30 US dollar is for the basic book because it's hardcover. Alright, 600 plus pages, uh, very nicely done. So you can use this hardcover and use it as a reference and handbook for you to develop your own modality and doing your research in terms of your own approach to Islamic psychology because this is the first book in terms of post-Islamic psychology a transcendent model to achieve peace, happiness and success in the Muslim world alright which is uh, we are trying our level best to come out with a series of books uh, one of these will be this Pi CBT handbook that we're going to develop uh, in future so how are we going to see this? Eh? for example if we take all the all kind of psychological problems eh? phobias, behavior problems and so on. We can list them out into many, many fields, huh? but I'm just taking about 19 of them. All right? And how Pi CBT, we use Pi CBT as our base, but it may not be enough. So some of this we have to use uh, drug-based intervention, uh, psychiatric intervention, even surgery, all right? For certain, certain approach towards uh, psychological problems. Huh? So for example, if we take simple phobia, so we can use Pi CBT as our base. We also can include, for example, behavior therapy, reflection therapy, coping skills training, which is very important. So if we have, for example, in our mosque, we are going to teach some of our people to overcome through coaching and mentoring. Eh? Because as uh, we have mentioned that we have developed the certified uh, coach problem uh, pro program 
that we are going to have in the four areas of uh, development, then they can help in this teaching. We train them in the coping strategies using Islamic methodology. For example, we have social phobia. We can use cognitive behavior therapy, relaxation, and coping skill. For example, cognitive delay in children development, childhood development. That means here we have to be more intense because it has to be first multi-system family-based early intervention. So if we find a child having dyslexia or having problems in terms of learning, ADHD, uh, ADHD and so on, then how are we going to do it? It cannot be left to the therapist, it cannot be left to the teachers. But the family intervention is very important. So we always bring in multi-system family-based intervention program, including home visit, child stimulation, parents training and support, all right, parent-child session, co-joint session to promote secure attachment and so on. So many of these things that have to be done because this is a major problem in a lot of uh, families, especially in the Muslim world because uh, of the lack of nutrition, because of the lack of bonding and uh, parents are absent because they are working overseas and left with their grandparents and so on. So there are many psychological problems related to uh, delay in childhood development which we have to intervene very early because if you lose them then uh, all throughout their life they will be then be at a disadvantage we have adjustment problem in children this is very very huge eh? what is adjustment problem in children with autism adhd intellectual disability sensory disability behavior problem so again this is a very big issue in the ummah not only in the, in the whole world, especially in the, most, uh, in, the, in the more advanced countries, I mean, in the Western world, this is going out of control. The teachers cannot control anymore the children anymore. All right? So how are we going to approach it? Uh, so this is a major problem that is actually disrupting the, the, the whole family system and social system uh, in many advanced countries and also in the poor countries. Huh? So what are we going to do? We're going to have multi multi-system, family-based, school-based, early intervention, applied behavioral analysis, structured learning principles, speech and language, remedial therapies, because a lot of them uh, may have problems in terms of speech and language, child management skills, training, uh, social problem-solving skills, training, drug intervention, and so on. So all these are psychosocial kind of intervention, and this in terms of the work that we need to do in terms of the uh, social organization, NGO, more Surau and all that, we can train them because this problem cannot be left just to the government or to the schools to handle because this is a very huge problem throughout the world. So if we can use part CBT and apply all these things together with it, then you can see you have a holistic modality towards overcoming the problem. We have teenage problem. This is exploding, all right? Teenage problem. How are we going to solve teenage problem? Uh, where their hormones are just racing and they're doing reckless things, uh, getting into drugs addiction, getting into uh, dangerous sex, getting into all kind of problems. In, so how are we going to tackle that? Yes, we use PICBT, but we could have peer-led school-based programs involving psychoeducation. We could give them psychoeducation. We could give them coping skills, problem-solving skills, uh, family therapy and also many other approach in terms of development of uh, sports, achievement, centered living and so on. Eh? There are so many other interventions inshallah which we'll, we will develop together with uh, a lot of the researchers who join us because this is the greatest problem that is facing the Ummah because in some countries you pass through the whole teenage years uh, in a very difficult situation and post that you don't even have a job which is even more depressive and more problematic. Eh? That is another area in which uh, we have to tackle. Eh? We have panic disorder and agoraphobia. Okay, these are the phobia. We use C uh, PI CBT relaxation technique and coping skills. OCD, obsessive compulsive di uh, di disorder. So we have to use PI CBT and we have to approach various modality in terms of behavior therapy, family support, and coping skills. Depression. Depression, there are so many modalities in depression now because the whole idea of anxiety and depression uh, is so big. So, inshallah, PI CBT with many others approach uh, in terms of interdisciplinary approach, inshallah, can overcome the problem. GAD, post traumatic stress syndrome, PTSD. We have also problems in terms of uh, schizoa, schizophrenia, and bipolar mood disorder. So here we have to use drug-related therapy, for example, multimodal treatment involving psychiatric drug intervention, family therapy, 
PI CBT, CBT, social skills training, uh, integration into society, and uh, adjustment uh, uh, modalities that we can bring them into society so that they can be useful citizens and a good person, uh, even though they have this very severe bipolar or mood swing or uh, problems in regards to their uh, schizo uh, problem. Eh? We have also a very big problem in terms of alcohol and drug addiction. Now we have not only alcohol drug addiction, we have pornographic addiction through a lot of the social media, which is uh, developing a very severe problem. Addiction in the sense that they cannot live one day without even looking at all those uh, pornographic material. And also it's leading to very severe in terms of uh, uh, abnormal sex behavior, which is now is, is, is spreading worldwide. So we have to really find a way out because this is one problem in which uh, the whole media and the industry is riding on the weakness of human being. We are developing uh, a whole society based on sex. So it is sex that sells. You, know, you want to sell a product, you use the face of a woman, the more naked they are, the better it is. So they, they are moving to the direction that is become obscene. It becomes uh, very addictive. So this is where the problem, we are not talking about drugs, we are not talking about alcohol, we are talking about video games, we are talking about pornography, we are talking about so many addictive activities that uh, I'm, uh, we can see it will be very severe. I have seen some of them using this 3, 3D goggle and they go almost into a trance, all right, using this 3 goggle to chase whatever they chase in their video game. So this is, this is I think, is going to damage their brain so severely that they cannot function in the normal world in the future. So this is a problem that I think uh, the, whole, the government of the world must try to find a way out because it's not a simple problem. But if we are going to intervene, then there's a lot of intervention in terms of family support, societal support, uh, psychological uh, therapies, uh, and so on. All right, we have psychosocial problem, relationship problem, bulimia, anorexia, insomnia, chronic pain management, and other social problems. So all these things shows that it is always multidisciplinary, multi-model approach, eh? and PiCBT is one of the approach. So we, we will not claim that, oh, we are the only one, you use this only, and that's it. No. We will use all the good uh, research and development done, for example, in terms of the new drugs that can be used as an intervention. Also, we can also go back to the history of, for example, Islamic medicine. In the past, we also used herbs, which are psychotropic. Uh, for example, we use opium, we use cannabis, uh, we use mushrooms, we use so many other those things that actually can, f can, can resurface through a very controlled environment because a lot of these mood altering, altering uh, herbs or biological products, natural biological products are useful only if we are not going to abuse it. Eh? So there are many ways in which, inshallah, if we can develop uh, with governmental assistance to go back to natural remedies eh? because a lot of the mood swing there are many proven herbs that can actually adjust the mood and also uh, change the situation so that we can have intervention so that we can delay or even stop using artificial drug I'm not saying that we should not use artificial drug because the drug companies spend billions of dollars developing the drug but a lot of them have very severe side effect and it is also themselves very ad uh, addictive. So there are many, many research in which we can do. Uh, what I'm trying to ex explore is the, all the possibilities that if you as a Muslim, you want to learn about post-Islamic psychology, you want to learn about post-Islamic cognitive behavior therapy, you also must have a multidisciplinary team to work with you so that you can have a herbal specialist, a TCM specialist and Ayurveda specialist working together because we have to have a holistic system of treating the whole human being. Remember our approach by CBT is we're talking about SEMP, our spiritual realm, our uh, heart, our emotion, our akal, our physical. All of them must be integrated in terms of the therapy, there must be coherence, there must be integration, and there must be synergy. And if we can do all that, we heal the person. That is the whole goal. And naturally, our intention is to be uh, sincere to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, doing it for his, to seek His grace, His mercy, His love, and helping human beings as we are brothers and sisters, and helping uh, each other to make this world good, helping others to be good, making, uh, making the world good for all the creatures of Allah, inshallah.